people welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karva and this is a video wherein I'm going to give you some secret tips on how you can easily solve reasoning and DI questions in your UGC net exam now I have received a lot of comments saying that DI is tough reasoning doesn't make any sense I cannot understand the concept sometimes even if I try hard I practice enough I'm not able to get the questions right while I was going through all these questions I, I was able to realize the fact that a lot of students are struggling with the practical portion I came across a very funny uh, message which was shared by one of my team members yesterday night wherein uh, it was written that either you are a maths person or you are an English person you can't be both now I want to tell you that this is complete myth it's not that you can either be good at languages or you can be good at the practical aspect and I'll prove you wrong uh, once you begin watching this video till the end now before we move on and look at what we can do in order to improve our DI and reasoning score I would like to ask you a very simple question why have you started preparing for this particular exam why are you working so hard to clear this exam? I'm pretty sure that if you ponder upon this question, you will realize that you have a dream in your mind. You have decided that you want to become a professor in future and that is the reason why you have decided to clear this exam. So guys, remember, whenever we have a goal in our mind, we must work hard to achieve that dream. We must work consistently towards achieving that goal and by clearing all these small small milestones finally one day we will achieve that goal of ours so always remember the fact that every goal every dream that you would like to fulfill needs a amount of preparation amount of determination amount of love towards that subject and amount of consistency and commitment so if you're ready to give it all to this exam then I'm telling you DI and reasoning would not be a very big monster in front of you after you end watching this video so without any further delay let's jump right and see what can be done to tackle this monster called di and reasoning first and foremost i would like to tell it very clearly to everybody sitting out there saying that di and reasoning is tough stop the blame game yes guys this is my first tip it might sound ridiculous that how is stopping the blame game is going to help you achieve more marks in your di and reasoning section but i'm telling you it is going to give you a lot more confidence it is going to help you become the driver of your life to see, get seated in on the driver's seat and decide where you want to take your life forward we all have this habit of blaming it to other people when we are not able to set things right hum ye bol sakte hain books barabar nahi tha time nahi mila uh, there were so many things that i was struggling with that nobody helped me how to understand the concept maths mera hamesha se weak tha i did not get good teachers there are a lot of excuses that you can quote and you are most welcome to quote all these excuses but let me tell you friends that these excuses might help you feel a little better about yourself for a short span of time but in the long run these excuses are not going to take you anywhere you might sit for this exam for next two years twice a year you sit for this exam you give four attempts and every time you keep on blaming it to somebody but will you be able to clear this exam by blaming it to somebody no absolutely no then what then it's important that from this day onward you decide that i'm not going to blame it to anybody whatever is happening whatever i'm not understanding i need to take the responsibility now what is responsibility i'm a great follower of Sadhguru, and Sadhguru says it very rightly that responsibility is to respond with ability you have the potential you have the power to set things right the only factor is that you have to start responding rather than reacting that nahi aata di kya karu main kitna bhi dimag laga lu ye question solve nahi hote it's better that you respond you don't react you respond you look at the situation and see what you can do in order to tackle this monster like problem and you do everything you can in order to set things right and i'm telling you when the day you stop this blame game that 
day itself you will see that there's a big difference that is coming in your life so i'm wishing you all the best and now we are going to look at the three steps that will lead you very closer to get in the highest marks in di and reasoning sections so are you guys ready if yes continue to watch this video till the end the first step that you must take in order to tackle these kind of questions is to understand the concept now let's take a very very small example and see how a person who is good at math and a person who is bad at math will look at this particular question this is a very simple question which involves you to use a board mass rule and which involves you to take hcf or lcm now for example you might take a question of di where you have to calculate percentage change or maybe where there you have to calculate the growth rate now a person who is good at maths according to you would be able to see the question do the numbers solve the numbers and then get the answer within 7 seconds whereas a person who is not so good at maths will be struggling hard for 15 20 minutes to solve the questions will might might make some calculation mistakes might change the entire steps that he has taken in order to get to the answer and he keep on doing the trial and error method in order to get to the solution and still he is not able to get to the solution now can you tell me what is the difference between these two kind of people I will tell you what's the difference. The difference is very simple. The person who, according to us, is good at maths, knows each and every step and the perfect procedure to get to that step and to produce the result. For example, he knows how to apply board mass rule. He knows what you mean by growth rate. What actually you have to do when a question asks you to calculate growth rate and how is it different from percentage. He knows exactly how to calculate HCF. He knows how he has to calculate LCM and he knows each and every concept and because he knows know the concept he can put these concept together and then solve the question very easily so understand that when you know a concept nothing is difficult for you suppose you know how to cook maggi right now you know the step-by-step -step procedure now if i ask you that is cooking maggi difficult for you you might say no i take a person from africa who has never seen maggi who has never uh, heard about maggi and if i ask him that can you cook maggi he'll say no i can't it's very difficult it seems to be complicated now why these two people are looking at the same thing in a different perspective because the person who knows how to cook maggi knows the concept knows the step-by-step -step method and that's it you don't need to do anything else you have mastered the art of cooking maggi on the other hand a person who is new to this terminology might keep on blaming people might keep on saying that i don't know and uh, this doesn't make sense and for how many minutes i have to boil and all these questions keep on bubbling in his head and he will still not be able to cook maggi so that is how you have to tackle the problem of di and reasoning make sure that you embed the concept in your heart before you start practicing the questions you don't need to refer to any other books your notes are the single most thing that you must refer when you are understanding the concept suppose you want to understand a very simple concept of calculating ratios okay now you watch a lot of youtube videos which are freely available try to understand the concept you might find a mentor who can explain it so wonderfully that you get it right in the first minute itself and once you have absorbed the concept you prepare your own notes you write what you mean by ratio how to calculate ratio what if uh, the denominator is greater what if the numerator is greater what will be the change in both these procedure the same thing you have to apply suppose if you are doing number series question don't just practice number series question without understanding the process you might 
keep on practicing in the wrong way and you will still not get it right. So the best way to prepare a number series question is to look at some good videos on number series. Try to see what kind of questions can be asked in number series. How to identify whether the number series is that of multiplication or of root or a pyramid based, uh, based number uh, series. So this is how you will enhance your knowledge. And while you are trying to embed the data, while you are trying to absorb the information, make sure you keep on making your own notes. And these notes you have to refer before the exam. Don't refer to any books. All these books are going to only confuse you in the practical portions like reasoning or DI. It is only your notes that you should refer because that is what gets into you. That is what you feed into your brain and that is what makes the most sense. So I hope that I have explained you the importance of understanding the concept and only by mastering the concept you can move to the step two. The step two is the next step that is practice. Once you have understood the concept, how will you test yourself? How will you see whether you have understood the concept or you have still uh, having questions or problems in the same? That is only by practicing that you will come across different kind of questions having different language and those language, those words, when you try to play with them, when you try to play with the numbers, you get mastery over that concept. See, it's fine that you have understood the concept, but since it's a competitive exam, which is time based, you have to solve a question in the minimum time. Now, if you want to solve a question in less than one minute, it is only through practice you can achieve it. You might know the concept, but if you take a lot of time to tackle that question, you might find that you have not been able to attempt 20 questions which will give you a shock. So how to tackle that problem by practicing. So every day set a timer of 30 minutes and practice 20 questions. Make sure you don't sleep a day without solving these 20 questions. And can you imagine how many questions you will be able to solve in three months? 20 questions seems to be a very, very easy task. You might feel that these questions are kya hoga. But if you calculate it 20 into 30 into 3, it is going to give you such a big number that you will be surprised. And that is how consistently you will move towards your betterment. And that is how every day by solving these 20 questions, you will gain more mastery over that concept. The third and the final step is take a mentor in place who can get your doubts solved. So whenever you are going to solve these questions, still you might find that there are a few questions which even after putting all your brain into it, you will not be able to solve. Now, how to tackle these questions? Rather than exhausting yourself, feeling bad about yourself, Googling it, always have a mentor in place who can get your doubts solved within a few minutes. And that is the reason why when I take up my online classes, we have this doubt solving mechanism because teaching is important, but doubt solving is even more important. A person might understand the concept, but where will he go if he will have doubts? It is you as a teacher whose job is to clear the doubts of the students. It's not that you have to get a teacher or a professor who can get your doubts solved. Even if there's a friend of yours who is very good at these mathematical questions, who can use his brain and figure out the solution in a few minutes, even that person can play a role of a mentor. And make sure that when you're going to the mentor, you ask them all the doubts you also write a step-by-step -step solution to solve these particular questions in which you have faced doubts because today you might understand the concept after 10 days if the same question is going to come in front of you you will again forget so revision is the key the questions where you're getting stuck make sure you maintain a separate notebook of these questions you write the question there you get the procedure there and just before the day of the exam you go through that mistakes notebook so that if in this notebook, there's a question which will come in tomorrow's exam. You will exactly know how to solve it. So this is a step-by-step -step method in which you can master all the concepts and all the topics of reasoning and DI. Before I end this video, I would like to just take a moment of yours and convey my best wishes for the upcoming exam. 
also guys if you're not doing the things that i have mentioned in this video then i'm so sorry to tell you that you are just trying to fool yourself if you're just thinking that someday magic is going to happen and you will automatically start getting all the mathematical reasoning or di questions right then i'm so sorry to tell you but that time is never going to come make sure that all the ideas that i'm giving in this video you are trying to implement them in your day to day life and keep pouring your love the way you have been pouring to us from past one and a half years most importantly if you have any other questions any other doubt please make sure you put them in the comment section below last video when i was going through the comment section i found this particular question coming up very frequently and that is the reason why i decided to make a video on it today so if you have any other questions any other doubt feel free to write us in the comment section below also there are a lot of other social media platforms where i personally read the comments of all my students all my followers so make sure that you follow us on instagram facebook twitter and keep sharing what is bothering you in these comments so that i can exactly know where i can help you in your preparation journey so wishing you all the best from the entire team of arpitakarva.com that's it for this video lecture we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com <laughs>